Can't you just hear Sarah McLaughlin singing over this? Forget that cartoon. This is the real secret life of pets. The initial premise of this movie, the teases we got in the first half of the trailer, felt familiar. I swear this movie's been out. Girl meets Psycho, Psycho holds girl prisoner, torture porn engaged. Yawn, ho-hum, here we go again. Then it takes a turn. Yep, she's nuttier than a squirrel's basement. And that made it interesting. I was in. But now, where can it go? Did they give us the twist already? This is Pet. The thing is, I already sort of have a boyfriend, so... No, you don't. Dominic Monaghan plays Seth, a put-upon guy who's kind of a loser. Seriously, everyone is an absolute dick to him. Okay, we get it, his life sucks. Seth's world is established early on as empty and sad. Then he runs into Holly, played by Ksenia Solo, a girl he had a crush on way back in high school. And he's triggered. He learns what he can about her, he stalks her on not Facebook, and then he kidnaps her, imprisons her in a big cage in a hidden room under the animal shelter he works at. Then the reveal. My concern was this was the twist. It would have nowhere else to go. It actually surprised me, even though I was prepared for the crazy girl routine. Rather, it goes further. It gets darker. Seth is not the psycho I expected either, but he's a little more sympathetic than I anticipated. Not to say that he's a cuddly guy, his motivations are obvious, but murky at first. And after the reveal, they make they don't make a lot of sense. Holly, while psycho, has facets to her we don't really get in the trailer. She's pretty disturbing. Jeanette McCurdy plays Claire, Holly's BFF. Emphasis on the forever. One part of the soundtrack had dogs barking in rhythm. I didn't notice it right away, but it was kind of funny. Pet is a solid thriller. It starts what you think is going to be a standard serial killer kidnapping story. First it unfolds of what you think is the usual sequence. I was starting to get a little complacent. Then it backtracks slightly and fills in some story points that gives you a completely different picture. It's a little out of nowhere, and I could almost see the writer finishing this story and then adding the stuff on a second pass when he thought he needed a twist. But it just made things more interesting. Who's really in charge? I gave Pet a 3.5 out of 5. It's dark, it's gloomy, and the ending is surprising. It gives one last twist, and it shows you just how far love and obsession can go. Save me. If you like this review, give a thumbs up and subscribe. You know you want to. Do you have a pet, human or otherwise? Leave a comment below. This is The Newbie, and as always, thank you for watching. And go hug your pet. All these people who talk about love like it's this lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. Love's not a lightning bolt. Real love takes work. Are you really gonna lecture me on love? You're keeping a girl in a cage.